all started back in 2014. We was just watching YouTube being bored as all. I have no clue what to watch. I've been thinking of what to watch for days. All I ever did was playing video games at that time. Until the time I discovered animations like D. The last one was the most memorable because of how much it entertained me in my free time. Looking at these animations, I started to watch more. My likeness is growing. Man, all of them are entertaining. I found something new to watch on YouTube rather than just playing games. After those times, I discovered a channel named Ellen Baker. Talking about old animations, why not show some that I wanted in this video? is one of my favorites. Sorry if I didn't let you see it long enough. If you're wondering, I grew up with Stickman animations first before dinosaurs. Usually, I watch animations that involve fighting since they are fun to watch. Once I watched these animations, I started to be on the lookout for Stickman games and found plenty. The best one I remember in Stick War, and I didn't mean the legacy version. There is another, but I forgot the name. It has to do something with fighting. Mostly, I play these Stickman games in websites like Y8 and Flash. And I guess that's the end for 2014. Let's move on to the next. The times in 2015 is where I started to see some dinosaur animations. I already loved them before this. And I really love them. The one you're seeing right now in the background is the dinosaur vs humans animation. If you want to know, these type of dinosaur animations are my favorite and not like those dinosaur battles. I did watch the battle, just didn't fit. Since I love dinosaurs, I've been trying to make my own animations but don't know how to. During that time, it's the same as 2014 where I started to see even more and perhaps also find some dinosaur games to play. I enjoy it nearly all of them. It gives me fun just as much as playing a stickman game. Watching these animations, I used to think it was the best since I haven't dug deeper to private animation. Now that's out of the way, I don't have anything else to explain. So let's just get on to the times in the year 2016. for 2016, this is where I experienced animating for the very first time. I didn't download it, apparently my brother did since I wanted to make one so bad I don't even know how to download a PC that time. Now that I have it, I tried animating with it, it's not private animator by the way, but a different one. I don't actually remember how long I have been animating that time. The first thing I wanted to animate is obviously a stick man. I had a neutral face when it's done, not too proud of it. So I tried animating dinosaurs next and ended up even more worse. This did not give me a feeling to give up at all. Well, why give up when it's the first attempt? So I tried again. And you know what the result is, it turned out to be a tiny bit better. I also did the same on dinosaurs, I didn't see a difference, then I paused it and moved it to animating a stickman box. It wasn't as good as I expected, 
by the time I spent his work it, I started to do it and the next day again and again and later came back into dinosaurs. Once I'm back with it, it's way better than what I did a few days ago which got me happy. The sad thing is, I eventually quit after a few months due to boredom. And that is the end, now let's go to the next one. The one you're seeing in the background is not actually a video that I recorded from 2018, just a video I uploaded in my channel months ago. And yes, this is the year where I discovered stick notes. You might wonder how. It all started when I was searching for a new stick man game to play. And many minutes later, I found a stick man animating sub. It's not actually a stick note, it's stick fighters. So I decided to take a look at it, and it wasn't that great. And because of this, I started to look for more and then found drawing cartoons. Just like before, not that great. I look for more once again. When I search out Stickman animation, I see an app called Stick Notes at the top, so I wanted to check it out. When I watched the Stick Notes promo video, it got me interested. It's way better than the two softwares I tried using before. After trying it out, it was just as great as I thought. It's not like the other two. I like the features you can do in the software, like adding a glow tint, opacity, saturation, and perhaps inverting. Now that I will reload how I discovered stick notes, allow me to show you my first animation. And that marks the end for 2018, on to the last one. The year 2020, where my YouTube channel is born making videos. In the start of the channel, I've met people like Sidebeast, Entity 504, Isaac Clark, and Phoenix One, who are considered to be one of my friends. I still remember uploading my very first video and animation on this channel. I hated myself for making it whenever I remember about it. If you don't mind, I'm gonna show you the animation. Anyways, let's get into on how I got into the stick notes community and the app. When I was watching Minecraft fight animations, I discovered these two creatures named SCP-173 and SCP-096. Whenever these two are involved in a fight, the two always win, so I decided to go deeper on them, trying to know more. Besides Minecraft animations, I found some cool ones. All of the videos are just amazing, except for 682 vs 939. It made me want to return with animating. My favorite was Godzilla vs SCP-682. 
and then again Bardot Spino made a second one that is where I met Isaac Clarke first person who I met when I watch his videos it motivates me to make a video but Bardot Spino's was more and then my first video is born I'm not gonna show you like what I did with the animation go scroll my uploads also, since I'm impressed by Butter Spino's SCP video, it made me animate again. So yes, SCP content is what made me start a YouTube. I returned to stick notes once again. This time, I also made some sticks. Instead of Butter Spino, I got inspired by Toxic Raptor. Another thing, I wish it to be a good stick maker in the past. Ever since I watched those stick making time lapse videos. And after months of making sticks, the wish came true. If you're bad at sticks, just try it, and eventually you will improve. The same goes for animating. Keep on trying. After all, losing skills is a thing. The reason why you think it is is because of lack of efforts, laziness, or either watch it. And the rest, I don't need to explain. Since we got this far, I don't want to overwork myself. And that is the end. Before the video ends, thank you so much for 2000 subscribers. You have truly earned my respects. It won't be possible without you all. As a gift, I wanted to do the same for the 1k sub special. I will give some free sticks. If you want to know, the pack includes... Alti Spinax, Godzilla 1974, SCP-106, Scorpius Rex, Great White Shark, Mechagodzilla 2021, and finally Godzilla 2014. All of the stakes is available for download in the description. Also, be sure to show some care towards my channel because if you're here just because of sticks, then I will make sticks free again. Hope you understand it. Goodbye and have a fantastic day.